and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a what I got for Christmas in 2016 haul. I'm purely making one of these um, because these are one of my favourite videos to watch. Obviously everybody does do this but as a bit of a disclaimer I'm just going to say now this isn't me showing off. I'm not saying hey look what I got. If you're like me though and you just love to see what the people got for Christmas then keep watching. Um, but if that's not for you, if you think that people are showing off when they do that or anything like that, then please just click off this video now because obviously there's going to be a lot of things that people bought me. Okay, so here we go. So the first thing that I received, um, I actually got given from the girl that I work with and it is this really adorable like blue and pink box and it is a Miss Patisserie floral bath box and in there, there is... There's like two bath bombs, two like bath melts and a piece of soap. Um, I'm not going to open it all and everything like that um, just because I don't really want to get everything out. So, but in there you basically get like very like floral looking like cupcake melts and a bar of soap and I'm really looking forward to using these. With me and Jamie living in the middle of the country and my family all being from the north and his family being from the south, we don't really get to see each other's family as much as we'd like to. But we did still receive presents from them this year, which was still really nice of them. So off Jamie's auntie, I received this really cute um, Baileys and Harding gift set. And basically it comes in this really lovely um, like red glittery pouch, which I absolutely adore. Now I've not smelt this yet, but I'm going to imagine I'm going to love it, seeing as these three scents are... Probably my favourites. I love cherry and I absolutely love strawberry so I'm really looking forward to using this. Carrying on with the kind of bath theme. I did get a lot of bath things this year. So I did get the French Connection bath set. I asked for something from French Connection this year. I received some bath sets last year from them in the French Connection and the scent is probably one of my favourite scents that there is. So I've asked for it again this year. Carrying on with the French Connection theme. I also received this little scrub duo from my grandma. This just basically has the body polish and the body butter in. Now this packaging is actually last year's packaging, so my grandma probably got this in the sale without even realising how much I love the French Connection scent. So I'm very, very happy that I received this a year later. From my mum, I got this little set of bath bombs. These are from a company called Emma's. That's based in my hometown of Halifax. These are always a great choice. Off my friend Sammy, I received these Jules bath fizzers, which come in this really adorable like egg box. We decided to do, well actually I decided to do presents this year. I sent her something and I just think she was just really, really kind and gave me something in return. And these are just basically four little bath fizzers. And again, absolutely love these. I'm a girl who loves her bath bombs. Usually at Christmas time, I get absolutely spoiled when it comes to lush things. I always ask for them and my parents and my grandma and Jamie are always very, very generous and always buy me lots of things. However, this year, I kind of got a lot more for my birthday, so which was in November, so a lot more people kind of didn't bother. Um, but I did still get two little things. I got the um, Stardust Bath Bomb which I've not opened yet, but I'm really, really glad I got this because I bought one back in probably at the end of November and when I got it home, it had actually smashed already. And I know for a fact that when you put this in the bath, it's got loads of tiny little stars inside it, which kind of like melt into the bath, but I didn't really get to enjoy the full effect of it. So I'm really, really happy that I got this. And then also from Lush, I got the Little Snow Fairy gift set. This was from my grandma. And in this set, you get the standard Snow Fairy shower gel, and you also get the Snow Fairy Fun. Now, the last of the smelly things that I got, I asked for the Ted Baker range this year. Um, I've never really been into Ted Baker before. However, it's quite sad, but I found that I love their packaging, and that's kind of drawing me in a lot this year. They're using a lot of, like, the rose gold effects and things like that, and I'm really, really into that. Um, so off my grandma, I got this free set of the body sprays. I, like I say, I've never used the body sprays or anything like that, but I've heard that they're really good. And then off my mum, I got another little Ted Baker set. This has the, the pink body spray, and then it also comes with the body souffle, the bubble bath, and a body wash. And that just comes in this really, really pretty little packaging. And as pathetic as it sounds, I absolutely love this little rose gold bow that's on the top of it. 
Um, I don't know if this comes off or not, but I definitely, definitely want to keep it. Okay, so I think that's kind of it for like a lot of like the bath sets now. I kind of got a few bits in like homeware and makeup and things like that. Off my Slimming World consultant, I actually got um, this little rosé wine and chocolate set, which obviously isn't Slimming World friendly. I'd just like to point that out in case anyone out there is thinking about going on Slimming World and thinks you therefore can only eat chocolate and wine. You can! but only in moderation. So yeah, that was really nice of her. Um, I help out a lot of Slimming World by doing like the pay and way for her, so she didn't have to get me anything and I wasn't expecting anything at all. Um, and also, this is one of my favourite wines, Rosé White Zinfandel. So, very, very happy with that one. Um, I also got off my mum, I forgot about this, Mist You Madly Body Spray by Soap & Glory. I really like Soap & Glory body sprays. I really like body sprays in general. Um, I'm really rubbish when it comes to remembering to put perfume on. Unless I have it literally right in front of my face, I'll just forget to put it on every day. Whereas a body spray, I just tend to have them just loitering around the house. So wherever I am, if it's just in my bag when I'm at work or whatever, these are just perfect just to spray on during the day. In the past, I often ask for makeup products, makeup brushes and things like that. This year, I seem to have bought myself a lot of makeup brushes. Mainly from TK Maxx, I often get like the Real Techniques ones at like a reduced price. But I still asked for them, I still put them on the list, um, kind of as a... A bit of like a, if you're a bit stuck for what to get me, or if anyone doesn't know what to get me, just throw that on the list. So my mum did get me two of the Real Techniques brushes. She got me... I do actually already own these two brushes, but... I use these quite a lot, so it's always handy to have a backup one. So I got the shading brush, which is the brush that I use most to apply eyeshadow. Um, I'm quite lazy when it comes to makeup, as you can probably tell. I literally just kind of chuck it on my face and go. I don't spend hours on it. I would like to, but I'm just not that kind of girl. And I really, really want to. I really want to be able to do my makeup really well, but I'm just too lazy. I don't like getting up earlier than I need to just to put something on my face. Yeah, I'm really happy I got these. So I got the shading brush for my eyeshadows, and then I also got the powder brush. Now this powder brush I actually got as my table present rather than a present that's under the tree. I don't know if that's something that like most families do, but basically when we have our Christmas dinner, when we sit down to eat it, we all have one present um, on the table. It's kind of like that extra little bit that you just kind of get. For me, Christmas isn't really about money and gift vouchers and things like that. It's not really something I've ever done. I've only ever kind of received presents because I like the idea of opening presents on Christmas Day rather than kind of asking for money. That's just my personal thing. Just because I, I like the process of opening presents and it being like family time altogether. So to receive money would just be kind of short-lived. So I really like... I don't tend to ask for it. However, this year, my mum and dad although technically not a Christmas present because I only got it yesterday um, but as like a bit of a thank you for doing all of Christmas dinner this year and a bit of like a New Year present um, they did get me a £25 next gift card which was really really nice of them and as pathetic as it sounds I'm going to go and buy a bin with this for my bathroom because it's the bin that matches everything else I've got in there but I don't have it so she's told me to go out and buy the bin for myself so I'm gonna spend like 22 pounds of that on a bin tomorrow and then secondly I got another gift card and my best friend Maddie went completely to town this year like she was so generous to me and Jamie and um, obviously we were just moving into the new house four months ago her and her boyfriend Miles they got us a John Lewis gift card and basically it was to buy something special for our new home. And she gave us a £25 gift card, which again was so generous of her, like she really didn't have to do that. So we were very, very grateful for that one. And then still on with Maddie, I also got from her the Rose Jam Shower Gel from Lush. And then she also got me this adorable little plaque and basically it just says all you need is love and a dog. Um, because anyone that knows us knows that we are far too obsessed with our dogs. One go-to item that my mum and grandma get me every year are Disney DVDs. A few years ago I decided to kind of get rid of all my Disney VHSs and then my mum said well, would you like me to replace them with the DVD versions and obviously anyone that knows me or if you've watched any of my past videos you'll know that yes was my obvious answer. So every Christmas they are their kind of staple present now is just filling up my uh, my DVD collection. So this year, and I'm just going to go through these quick, obviously I'm not going to talk about each one. But this year off my mum I got one, two, three, four, I got six DVDs off them. 
Um, I got Snow White, I got The Lion King, I got Oliver and Company, Sleeping Beauty, Alice in Wonderland and Basil the Great Na Mouse Detective. Um, again, really, really fortunate to get these. I've got quite a lot now, so I think the collection is pretty much full. Um, I absolutely love this kind of style on the Disney collections. Obviously, I'm not going to ask for them from my mum because that would be really rude to just be like, can you just get me the ones with just this sleeve? For the sake of a sleeve, I'm not going to be that rude to her. But the ones I do have do look really nice like this, but are in general numbers. But at the same time, I put on my DVDs alphabetically, so the numbers don't really mean too much. Moving on to clothes, I did get quite a lot of clothes, but they were mostly things like black leggings, underwear, tights, things that I wear for work. So I'm not going to bother putting these in there because they're just standard everyday items. I didn't see the point in putting them in. So I've just got a couple of bits to show you. Um, first stuff is this really huge kind of greeny blue scarf off my grandma. Um, this is from Marks and Spencers, which was really lovely of her. Um, and I have a lot of scarves, but I'm rubbish at wearing them. Um, so I think if I just kind of have this sat by the door or whatever, I will probably remember to wear it. Um, but I must do, because this is it's really, really soft. So must remember to wear that. Um, off my mum, although I wouldn't have normally put socks in this kind of haul, I did absolutely adore these when I opened them. Um, and these are from New Look, and they're basically um, like bar humpug socks and we have a jug dog again as you probably know if you've watched any of these videos so that does look a lot like Winston. Typically for Christmas I did get a set of pyjamas and um, I got these kind of quite girly pyjamas actually for me um, and this comes with like a long sleeved uh, pink top and then these kind of bird design long bottom ones and these are just from Primark but I absolutely adore Primark pyjamas and then lastly in the clothes I got this adorable shirt off my mum and it basically is like this kind of peachy pinky colour and it's got all these like little swallow birds on it but I just think it's absolutely adorable this is the sort of thing that I wouldn't have picked up if I saw it in the shop but I really really love wearing shirts and jumpers and I just think this is so nice. And she got it in a size 14 as well, which is even better because I like my shirts slightly bigger. Um, I have a lot of shirts at the moment, but they're all quite a little bit tight on me um, with me not being like the smallest girl in the world. So very, very happy that she got me this. Off my mum, I think. Um, perfumes are one of the things where I am fully stocked up. As I mentioned earlier, I'm quite rubbish at remembering to wear perfumes and I have loads um, in a drawer upstairs. But I, although it's probably not the coolest thing to be 25 and still loving these perfumes, um, but I really love the Britney Spears perfumes. They last all day on my skin, which is very rare for a perfume to do for me. And I absolutely really like the scents. Um, so I got the Hidden Fantasy one. I've got pretty much all of them now. I don't know how many there is. I'm sure there's probably like 20 odd. She's got that many and she's been making them for that long. But I do really like getting these. They're kind of like the little stocking filler because I know they're not that expensive anymore. And um, so yeah, quite happy with this. That's always like a nice little addition. It's kind of like a tradition now that I get a Britney Spears perfume every Christmas. Off my mum, this was something that I did actually ask for. Um, I saw this in New Look probably a few weeks before Christmas and I said if she happened to see it and um, if she could get me one I'd be really really grateful and this is basically a uh, hanging terrarium and I love terrariums I love having plants and flowers around the house but I'm not fantastic at kind of keeping them alive as a rule if you have one of these or if you know anyone that has hanging terrariums and can kind of tell me a good place to put them then by all means please let me know and um, but with it being like round and stuff I can't just kind of hang it on a wall because obviously it'll kind of press against the wall then I'd rather have it like hanging somewhere so I'm very very happy and I was really really pleased that I got that the next thing we received is actually a gift off our friends Dan and Zoe and it's not really a gift that I can really show you at the moment but they basically presented it in this really lovely box um, and they bought us a gift um, on that via gift website and they basically got us a comedy pass for two people and we have to go on to the website apparently and we can like there's loads of clubs we can choose from and um, me and Jamie like one of our main things that we love to do together is see comedians or watch um, stand up DVDs we really really love our comedy and we love watching like a lot of mock the week stand up DVDs um, and things like that so in terms of like thoughtfulness this was a really really lovely gift 
I received this really big ass candle off my mum. These are from Primark and I absolutely adore these candles. I kind of asked her for one-ish when we were in Birmingham. I told her how much I liked this one and she just said that she'd try and get it for me for Christmas. And this is the number 15 Plum Blossom and Vanilla and it's really really like kind of sweet. Yeah it smells a lot like Kind of like when you have like a big bag of pick a mix and you kind of smell it all. It smells a lot like that. Um, but it's not sickly sweet. They are really, really nice. Makeup wise off my mum this year, I threw down a couple of things for her this year. There was one thing I really wanted and then I said other than that I'd quite like lipsticks but with a matching lip liner. I've really got into wearing lip liners with my lipsticks. Rather than kind of doing them individually, she was super, super kind and just put them all in this box. So... Although it looks like a relatively small present, this is probably one of the more <laughs> expensive presents. So in here I've got the um, the Collection Fast Stroke Eyeliner, which is one of my go-to eyeliners. I'm really, really picky. Um, I don't really like soft nibs on my eyeliners, and I also don't really like pencil eyeliners. So this has been like my go-to one for probably about like nearly 10 years now. So always a classic is the Collection Eyeliner. Um, then she bought me the Gimme Brow Benefit thing. <laughs> um, what is it? A brow volumizing fiber gel. Uh, this is my third one of these now and I absolutely love them. I got the first one in the old style packaging and then I've recently got like a mini version that I got free in a magazine. So I asked for this for Christmas this year. This is my favorite brow product other than the browsings that I use to kind of define them. And then this just stays on all day. It adds a bit of colour to my eyebrows and I absolutely adore it. It is ridiculously tiny for like nearly £20. But I will always ask for this because this is like my new favourite brow product. I also got a Rimmel lipstick and a Rimmel liner. Um, it's in the shade Cheeky Coral. Although I think it's quite red. I have already used it so it's a little bit... Oh, it looks really orange on the camera but it's definitely a lot redder in real life than it is on the camera. Um, so she basically got me that with the red lip liner. And then I asked this year specifically for NYX products. NYX is quite new to the UK and new to certain boot stores. So she got me the NYX More To Love Lush Lashes Mascara, which looks like this. Um, I don't know when I'll get around to using this, purely because I'm quite picky at making sure I use, use them within a certain time frame with mascaras, with them going off quite quick. So this will probably be on 2017's list at some point, but I'm not too sure when. And then she also got me a lipstick and a lip liner. She got me the NYX Butter Lipstick in the shade Razzle Fiesta, which is kind of like this, kind of like an off pinky shade. And then she also got me the matching lip liner, which are called Slide On, Glide On, Stay On, and definitely a Turn On waterproof extreme colour lip liner. This lip liner is so good the name had to be this long. So really looking forward to using them two together. I'm not usually like a pink shade kind of girl so quite looking forward to seeing what these look like and it's always nice to be able to experiment with things that you've not in the nicest way possible that you've not necessarily bought with your own money. And um, So that's all the makeup that I got off my mum um, in like kind of the expensive makeup. So like I say you know that box is going to have been like a good like 30, 40 pounds and it looks so like small but like that's kind of like one of like the big presents. I guess I'm kind of moving on to some homeware. I've not put Jamie's things in there just yet because I'm kind of going to leave them till the end. And for my mom, I also got this big ass fragrance candle lamp. Basically it's like a big candle at the bottom and then it comes with like this glass lamp on the top. I, the only thing I don't know is once, if, once the actual candle's gone, if I can kind of put that on other candle sizes because this is quite um quite a unique size so I'm kind of hoping I can but I'm not too sure so we shall see. Off my grandma I received this really lovely big Disney store gift box to which my mum said yeah just wait till you see what's inside there and after scrambling through all the packaging it had although I do collect these so I was very happy that I got it and um, it was just one teeny tiny sum sum so yeah <laughs> you can imagine like the anticipation of what was in there but she did say that they were quite surprised at how big the gift box was in comparison. Um, and this is just Squirt from Finding Nemo. 
and again absolutely adorable i don't have him and always a nice addition to have an extra little something my mum i received some photo frames i'm doing a gallery wall print kind of theme in my room at the moment so to add to that she got me these two grey uh, photo frames from Next and they're just kind of this like lace design around the edge um, and then to sit in between them if I wanted she got me this big uh, quite a chunky white one and um, this is from the range I think she said um, and this is again got quite like a little delicate detailing so I think them three will look really really nice together and then she also got us, which we absolutely adore, which is ridiculous really, um, is this huge bath mat, which basically, I don't actually, you know, I've not even properly looked at it. So it basically says gorgeous on it, but it's made out of memory foam. Um, now these are in Primark, and I think they're either seven or 10 pounds. There's a reason why I've never bought them, and I think that's because I didn't really want to spend that much on a bath mat, which is ridiculous, I know. But yeah, really, really happy with this, and we're going to put this in our main bathroom. She got it for our downstairs loo, but we think it's a bit too nice to just go in there, so we're going to put this in our main bathroom. I'm really, really looking forward to using that. And now on to my three main presents that I got off my mum. The first one was this gorgeous handbag um, from Debenhams. This is just part of the collection range in Debenham, so it's kind of like their own range. Um, I asked for a handbag for Christmas and I sent her loads of pictures of like Zara, New Look and Debenhams. And apparently this was one I took a picture of, but I don't remember doing that. But it's basically got either one huge compartment or you can use these two like zip compartments at the side. So depending on obviously what you've got in your bag, what you're wanting to use. Obviously, if the weather's a bit rubbish, having the zip pocket's really, really handy so you, whatever's inside your bag doesn't get wet. And I think this is absolutely lovely. And I'm really looking forward to using that at some point during the year. I've recently started using another handbag, so I think I'm going to hold off on this one for a little bit because I don't really like mix and matching my handbags because of what I have to carry with me. My second... Well, I kind of had a joint main present this year and I asked for this a couple of months ago. And I basically asked for a spice rack and this one in particular from Debenhams which I absolutely adored I saw it when they released their um, their Christmas range um, it was a little bit pricey with being one of my main presents I think it was about 36 pounds and it basically has six or 18 different ones um, and it comes pre-filled but then obviously I can start to add things that I want over time I absolutely love this I'm so so happy and I'm really looking forward to ending this video so I can actually get it in my kitchen. They're currently all cable tied in, and um, so obviously they didn't get nicked or anything like that, but can't wait to get into these and actually start cooking with them properly. And then my main present off my mum, I've been after these bedside table lamps for probably about six months now. And I did say to her like, if you want, just buy me one. They are quite expensive, they're about 32 pounds each. So I said, don't feel like you have to get me the pair just because they're bedside table lamps. Just get me one, I will get the other one myself. Um, but obviously, being the amazing parents that they are, they bought me both of them. And these are these big crackle lamps from Next. I absolutely adore these. These are in the smoke colour. You can get them in so many different ones. You get them in pink, purple, turquoise, mink. Um, but I really, really wanted like the grey, darky smoke shade. Um, and obviously the base is like this crackle effect, which I've actually got in my light shade in my room. Um, and yeah, obviously I got the pair, but obviously I'm only going to show you one because there would be no point. And also being incredible parents, they did put the bulbs in for me as well. So I don't have to go out and buy bulbs now either. So that's all my main presents off my family and my friends and such. Um, so now I'm going to show you what I got off Jamie. Um, so firstly, he got me the um, the vinyl of the new Busted album. I'm a massive Busted fangirl. I always have been. I probably always will be. Um, I was about 11 when they first came out, so I kind of hit like the target audience of Busted. I also received, um, being a bit of like a loser in general, um, I got this Harry Potter crest light. He mentioned it to me, but then said he wasn't going to get it to me because he's kind of mentioned it to me. But then he threw me a massive curveball and still bought it. Um, and I'm going to just put this in the bedroom, just on one of our bedside, uh, on one of our chest of drawers, just because we don't really have much in the bedroom. It's quite a large room for not a lot of stuff in there. So I think I'm going to put this on there, and then also it'd be quite nice to have an extra light in there now. 
I also received the the massive reed diffuser from Next and this is in the fragrance of Milan and I didn't expect to be getting quite that size one so that was a really really lovely surprise this wasn't actually wrapped he forgot that he bought this for me and um, so I didn't receive this until the till boxing day yeah boxing day night I received this so that was a really really lovely extra present from him I thought I was getting this and then because I didn't get it on Christmas day I just assumed oh maybe he didn't get me something from next because I saw the next box in the house and um, but yeah I did and yay so obviously I've not opened this yet but I will be opening it in the new year once kind of the house has kind of been de-Christmased um, another little fun present from him, I got some Harry Potter top trumps, again massive Harry Potter fangirl and we're quite sad and we like to spend our time playing like little geeky games and things so this is always a nice little t pass the time thing for us. He also bought me a pack of uh, free notebooks and they're basically these little pug notebooks. Um, one is just that one that you've seen, the one on its own and then like a collection of them. So again really really cute, I do love my notebooks and stationery so he knows me very well. Also being a huge Disney girl, we absolutely loved our, we've got like a, a proper Lumiere figurine um, downstairs which kind of lights up and you can get a Cogsworth that goes with it which is a real working clock. However, Cogsworth goes out of sale, like goes out of stock so fast that he can never get it and you can't get it, like it's very very hard. So it's kind of to compensate for that even though I never asked for it and I wasn't expecting it at all. And he got me the, the Disney showcase in the Disney Traditions figurine. I actually collect, well, I've got like three of these already so I got like another, I've got four now and I got the little mini Cogsworth which I think is so cute and the um, I work in watches and clocks and I still can't remember what they're called. The uh, the pendulum in the middle kind of swings back and forth, which I think is so cute. So I really, really like him. And he will just sit with like the rest of the collection that I've got. I got a couple of DVDs as well from Jamie. Um, as I said earlier, like we're really into our stand-ups and things. So I did get a couple of stand-up DVDs. I got a Simon Amstel one. I got like a Dave Gorman one and an Ardell O'Hanlon one. Um, again, three people that we do quite like to watch. We love falling asleep to stand-up DVDs as well, so really, really happy I got them. And then in other DVDs, I got the David Brent film, which I've not seen yet, and I also got Finding Dory, which I've also not seen yet, but I've heard it's very, very sad, and I don't know if I'm prepared to make myself cry just yet, so we shall see. I'll probably um, watch this probably in the new year at some point. He also decided to get me a couple of bits that was on my list. <coughs> So the first things he got me was the Origins Ginseng Moisturiser. I've been after this for so long now, um, but it's one of them products that I've just not really got round to buying. Um, I'm really, really looking forward to using it. I really want to start to look after my skin a little bit more in the new year, so I've heard really, really good things about this. He went to town on my makeup this year. Like, I am so, so fortunate that he got me these. And basically, he bought me three things in the Kat Von D range which I cannot believe I got all three that I asked for. Very, very happy. He bought me one of the the Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. So I got this, the shade Bow and Arrow, which is kind of like a dark nude shade. So very, very happy that I got that. And then um, I also asked for the Tattoo Liner, which I'm so excited to use. I'm still on the mini one at the moment, but I never thought that I would find another eyeliner after the collection one that I absolutely loved and this stays on all day and it's incredible. And then I also got the Kat Von D Lock It Foundation which I've never used but I cannot wait to try it out. Basically it comes in the world's greatest packaging ever. Like this is just so cool. <laughs> and to start using it you literally just take off like this like little lock. So I'd imagine that whenever you travel or whatever I mean, I imagine also people probably don't, but when you travel, you could just pop that back in. And then obviously that just kind of helps everything stay a lot neater. And I'm so looking forward to using this. This is in the shade Light, I think. Light Cool, number 44. And then I got two more presents off Jamie. One was this incredible Alien Teddy. Absolutely adore this. He's a... Uh, He's ridiculously large and Disney Store always do these big giant teddies around about this time of year um, and I think I pointed this one out and probably Baymax at some point um, but this is definitely my favourite of the two. I absolutely adore Toy Story. It's my Disney film of choice. 
and the fact that he got me this is incredible. This will probably only stay in my room, but I've also got the huge Lady and the Tramp that I got last year or the year before, so he will sit nicely with them, I would imagine. And then lastly, I have only got the box for this purely because it's actually in the living room after we used it the other night, um, but he bought me as my main present a foot spa. I moan about my feet probably 10,000 times a day, but I'm so happy I got that. It literally made my feet 10 times nicer after I used it, so such a nice addition, such a thoughtful present, and I'm so happy with everything that he got me this year. So that is everything that I received. I hope that you liked it, I hope it wasn't too boring. I tried to get through it quite quickly because I did. I was very, very, very spoiled and did get a lot this year. Um, so yeah, if you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. I will hopefully be doing quite more regular videos in 2017. Um, I've decided to rejoin Slimming World, even though I'm already a member, I've rejoined to kind of kickstart myself to get back into it again. Um, so hopefully I'm going to kind of try and do like Slimming World updates, probably do a few more Disney updates, um, and obviously house, homeware hauls, things like that. Always on them, because I love to spend money on my house. Until next time, goodbye!